You should jump. Cheers. Hey. I wanted to do this ever since I was younger. <laughs> We've kind of lost our individuality. Okay, just blend it out. <laughs> just blend it out. <laughs> oh, you could have sloshed it. Oh my gosh, I don't even know what I'm doing here. Oh my god, I don't know what I'm doing. Mayday, mayday. <laughs> but, but you're like attacking my face with that brush. Oh, I'm scared. Take two. <laughs> ah, that's way too long. Oh. Watch the hair, please. Girl, you're making me dark. Trust me. <gasps> I need to put my white chips on. Are you kidding me? No, I spent a fortune on those. Sneak attack, not the cutie. Okay. Yeah, I picked out his outfit. You should go in the cupboard and get me my perfume, please. Can you go get me my perfume? Wait, where is it? Here? It's at the bottom. Someone's a little stressed out before yes. the wedding day. <laughs> yes! People are getting emotional here. I don't know how to feel, but we'll play it by ear. Hey guys, so we're currently on the way to Madison's grad. The school literally did nothing for them, so they have to like plan their own thing. So they're doing like the pre-party or pre-grad at her friend's house. So they're all gonna be there, popping some champagne, taking pictures, and then they're going on the party bus to a different location. So we're just going to her friend's house right now to take pictures with her and everything. We are 12 minutes away. We're running so late. Like we were supposed to be there at three and it's literally 3.30 right now. So it's fine, whatever. When you get ready, it's just so stressful and you're just bound to be late like it's just a thing that happens it's really out of your control well it kind of is in your control but it just, it just happens especially on grad you need everything to be perfect therefore you take a while so anyways she looks beautiful but yeah this is what i'm wearing i just got a little green dress on with i think i showed this in the previous vlog but like these black heels yeah it's such a beautiful day for their grad it's so perfect Hey guys, what is up? It is currently 1.20 and we just got to the lake. It was actually kind of like a far little mini road trip. It was like an hour away, but it's so pretty here and it's gonna be 31 today. So Julia's here, Joel's here, and we're just gonna be tanning and enjoying the summer. This is kind of like the summer kickoff because summer officially started yesterday. So Julia's just in the washroom right now. We got some snacks for the day, some sandwiches, some chips, some snacks. We got a speaker, we're all prepared for this little venture so we're probably gonna stay here until like five o'clock i'm guessing or four o'clock um and then go eat dinner at home and tonight's also bachelor at night so juliana's gonna join us because she's working today so she couldn't come but yeah summer's finally kicking off so we're so excited we're so pumped if you guys are in the area i'm at cultus lake for reference if you guys are curious later this week it says it's gonna be 37 degrees celsius which is like so hot for here like it never gets that hot i don't remember the last time i got that hot so it's kind of cool but yeah I'm gonna do a little it's bit of perfect. Her. Zoom around so you guys can see. There you go. Cheers. Hey. You should jump. So much better to jump because it's like so cold that if you would have jumped in, it would have been like fine, but going in slowly. Yeah, but it's I don't worse. know if I want to jump in, it's gonna hurt. No. It's gonna be uncomfortable. Hello you guys, what is up? So it is currently 1.42 and I was just like working in the morning, had some breakfast, made a coffee and it is such a beautiful day. I need to show you guys the weather forecast for the rest of the week. It's absolutely amazing. I'm so, so, so happy. I'm just gonna block my location, but you can see like, I'll show you still. Okay, I have no idea if this is focusing, but it's basically gonna get up to 38 degrees Celsius, which I don't even remember the last time it got that hot here. Even from summers ago, I don't think it's ever been that hot here for so long. So 38 degrees Celsius is, it's 100 degrees Fahrenheit, which is absolutely crazy hot, at least for here, because I know there's other places that it's like gets super, super hot, like way over 100 degrees Fahrenheit. But for here, that's like really hot. So we're just not really used to the heat like that. So it's Kind of nice so definitely gonna be a lot of beach days coming out from the interior of bc if the weather gets too hot and dry we do get a lot of forest fires usually starting in august though but i hope that the rain like it's good that it's raining one day because that will help moisten things up but anyways so 
I don't really have many plans for today. I just texted my friends if they wanted to do something tonight after work. So we'll see. So I signed up for a background acting agency and I don't want to be an actress or anything. Like that's not my goal here. I just kind of want to do it to earn extra money this summer. Not that I necessarily need it, but apparently they'll only call you like once every few weeks. So going there for a full day, making like a big sum of money would be kind of nice if I can get in and just do it for the summer because it's super nice weather. So why not? And I've always wanted to do this ever since I was younger, but I just haven't had the means for transportation. So now that I have my own car, it's like super easy. I can go whenever I want. So me and Madison signed up for it. So we're gonna do it together and we have a zoom meeting at two o'clock for that So that's gonna be interesting. I'll like kind of film the meeting and put in some parts of it If you guys are interested in doing background acting all I did was search up background acting Vancouver agencies and then you just like input your city so wherever you live and then a whole bunch of them should pop up and yeah it's really that easy and then you just sign up like you don't need any professional pictures I just literally put a selfie of myself so yeah it's gonna be really interesting but yeah so since I'm planning on traveling soon I just thought that I might as well do everything that I can to save up the most amount of money before I go so yeah I'll definitely keep you guys updated on how that goes and the whole process of it because I'm really new to this so don't go in the description asking me a whole bunch of questions because I have no idea yet like this is gonna be a learning curve for me but I'll update you guys as I go but yeah so Madison should be home soon she's just on the way home from the mall and then we're gonna do the meeting it's in less than 15 minutes so she better roll up soon she should have been home already there's lots and lots of opportunity here in BC now commercials is a bit more uh, serious uh, and when I say serious I just mean that you do have to usually audition for commercials commercials you can make anywhere from fifteen hundred to ten thousand dollars we like to represent our performers in as many realms as possible because it helps us get to know you book you better based on what you're good at, comfortable doing, um, and where you'd like to go in your career. Hey guys, what is up? It's currently like almost 12 o'clock. The game starts in a couple minutes. Portugal's playing. We're in our little attire. They better run. They better freaking win. Manifesting it. This isn't okay. No, like this isn't okay. <laughs> okay. Dad is probably shitting diarrhea if he's watching this. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, oh. elbow. Hey guys, what is up? It is currently 4.30, I think about. We just watched the Portugal game. I had another meeting and then I just filmed the video. So I've been pretty go, go, go. Portugal tied 2-2. So they're moving on to the next round, which is exciting. And then the casting call went really, really well. So now we're signed up with like a agency which is really cool so yeah i'll update you guys if i get any like calls or anything for castings because i'm really excited just to do it like as a side hustle to make a little bit of extra money and i can also bring you guys along which would be really really cool and yeah i just filmed a video that's already up it's posting this week so by the time you're watching this vlog it's already up i just want to clean right now because the kitchen is kind of a mess everything is a mess and i just want to clean right now so i'm just going to change out of my cute top and go on a cleaning rampage not like it's anything interesting but i'm gonna go clean you guys i was just reading for like half an hour and it is just so amazingly beautiful outside i'm actually getting really hot so i'm gonna go back inside to the air conditioning because the sun was like beaming on my leg and i was getting so hot but i was just reading this amazing book and enjoying the outside the birds chirping and i'm just feeling so grateful it is such a beautiful day and i live in such a beautiful place and i'm just so thankful for everything i read this line in this book that i'm gonna share with you guys really quickly before i go inside okay so i'm gonna read you this little paragraph from the book two people can walk out of this same movie one person clinging to the walls bloodshot and devastated leaving a trail of tissues more moved by the film than any other film in the history of cinema while the other person goes marching up to the ticket counter and demands her money back because she thought it was the worst piece of garbage to ever be projected onto a screen one movie two different experiences why because it's not about the movie, it's about the movie goers. What other people think about you has nothing to do with you and everything to do with them. So recently I made a video about how not to care about people, what people think about you. And I think that just goes really hand in hand. And that just really spoke to me because it's so true. Like you're never going to please any everyone no matter what. So it's completely pointless to even care about what anybody thinks because if you're not going to have the opportunity to please everyone. And why would you even try? It's so pointless. That just really stuck with me and I'm just like, damn. 
Oh, the way that the sun is shining on the deck right now. It's just so beautiful. Hey guys, it's currently 8.45 and... 8.41 because that's four minutes in. 8.41. We're just on the way to the grocery store nearby. And Subway because I'm home. She just got off work and she was kind of disappointed that no one made anything because we just had leftovers for dinner and there was none left for her. So we are going to Subway. She's going to get a sandwich or something. Also, if you guys are meatless and you go to Subway, let me know like what you get because I don't know if they have any vegan options. Like I'm not getting anything right now, but just for future reference, it would be nice to know. Subway hits different. I thought I would let everybody know that Subway hits. Like Subway is so good. Like it, like you can't make a sandwich like that at home. Like you can't. I don't appreciate Subway the way she oh, does. Subway is so good. I like it, but it, I don't love it. Like and my order is so good. Coca combo toasted with on the Italian herb and cheese and then I literally get everything on it. I like Subway, like I'll have it, but it usually doesn't really sound that appetizing to me to be completely honest. Like Subway is kind of on the bottom of my list usually and that is like while eating meat, like even their meat sandwiches. But yeah, so we're going to go pick her up a sandwich and then we're gonna go just to the grocery store because we wanna get popcorn because she's finally off of school and she's never going back. You're never going I'm back. I'm never going back. Sorry, mom. Unless I like have like actually something that I yeah. want to go back for. Well, I meant more like high school wise because I don't know what you want to do with your future yet, but and neither do I. <laughs> also, I just want to put it out there that there's so much pressure after you graduate high school. There's so much pressure to go to university, but don't give in to the pressure. Like if you don't know what you want to do, if you don't want to go, if you want to go travel for a bit before you go to school, school does not have to be your number one priority. It doesn't define your life, okay? No. Let's just say that. Yeah, like it doesn't have to be your number one priority. If you want it to be your number one priority, then that's amazing for you. If you need to have it all planned out, that's great, but that's not the case for every person. It's like, especially when you're like in a friend group, like me and my soul, like friend group, like out of the 10 of us, I'm probably like the only person that's not going to school in September. And it's like, you're like hearing of like all of their plans and you're kind of like, well, like I feel useless but like then again I'm like I don't give a shit because like I'm not gonna rush into something that I don't want to do you know what I mean yeah like I don't know what I want to like you're deciding career for the rest of your life like yeah exactly I'm not gonna like just just decide yeah. that I'm only like eight, only 18 mm -hmm. and and people are like oh just go and like take courses that interest you like if you don't know what I'm you not they're do. like just do general studies uh no but it's like if you don't feel called to do it like if you don't feel called to go to school then you don't have to go like don't listen to what other people are saying about how you have to rush into it you have to decide you have to do courses da, 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 da. like you don't have to do anything do your life do what you feel called to do do what you feel is right for you in the moment so if you don't want to go to school if it's not right for you to go to school right after you graduate if it's not right for you to go to school ever then that's completely fine like society deems it as like as they like, deem it as if you don't go to school you're gonna be failure in life and you're gonna be living on the streets, but that's yeah. not the case. It's at like all. that is not. The, it's what you do with your time. It's what you do with. It's what motivates you. That's gonna make you successful in the end, regardless of a degree, regardless of anything else. Oh, like of course, like it can help to go to school for certain careers and whatever. Going to school does not define your success. You do that. You define your success in life, and success meaning ever, all aspects. How, what you're gonna be happy doing. What you're gonna be most financially stable doing. Good thing mom and dad are okay with that because like my parents when I first graduated they were like school 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 you have to go even though I didn't want to but she's lucky because I kind of carved that path out for you you're welcome I was the first child to drop out Woo! Not Woo! The second. <laughs> anyways we're going to save on because we're, we, we want to get popcorn and then whatever we see and like yeah along the way maybe some other snacks because we want to watch a movie tonight some healthier snacks though because i've been eating like shit even though that's not even possible yeah i've been kind of swerving popcorn off top three health. snacks 100 percent highly recommend trying stale popcorn you pop a bag of popcorn and you leave it like for a day a couple of days out just open so good stale popcorn is the best i don't agree but um try it try it if you want <laughs> I look like a highlighter and I look. That's my old hoodie. It's like size extra, extra large. I thrifted it. Oh no, I have like pizza sauce on my face. You're okay, but why do I low key want to get this? Oh my goodness, that'd be really cute. Inside your cat's mind, that's so cute. The flavor is blue. Euphoria, that's my favorite one. I'll try it. I've never tried er, Yerba Mate before, but kind of want to try it and they're on sale, so. Okay guys, Madison just went into Subway. She's getting her sandwich. 
So I thought that I would sit down and we'll taste the yerba mate. I'm probably botching that. We'll taste it together. I got the blue for ya. Okay, let's taste it. I'm kind of scared. Cheers. It kind of just tastes like not so sweet iced tea. It has 28 grams of sugar in it, and it doesn't taste like it has 20 gra 28 grams of sugar in it. It tastes like it has like 5 grams of sugar in it. So I'm guessing this is kind of similar to kombucha, is my guess, just because it has... Oh, it has elderberries. Organic brewed. Ooh, okay, this actually kind of seems good for you. Oh, it said shake gently before opening. It's good. It's different. It's kind of It kind of just tastes like a less sweetened version of iced tea feet blueberries but it has elderberries in it which and i know elderberries are really good for like your immune system my mom would make elderberry tea no my mom would make elderberry syrup to boost our immunity at the beginning of covid i remember that um so i know that's good for you and everything's organic in it i'll give this a nine out of ten it's actually really good but anyways as i was saying before or as we were saying before if you guys are graduating high school soon or if you guys graduated this year i know there's like a lot a lot of pressure of what school you're going to and people really like base your status or your smartness on what school you're gonna go to is it a top rated school they base pretty much all of who you are on what school you're going to if you're going to school i just want to be here to tell you that if you don't feel like going to school don't do it because it's not worth it what's worth it is you being happy and you following your intuition because your intuition is always going to be leading you on the right path in life it's that inner feet in the inner gut feeling like i just read in the book i was reading today that birds when they're flying and trying to find their group of other birds i don't forget what the term is called but when they're migrating they use their intuition to find the other birds which is crazy because a lot of animals use their intuition and us as humans we're like nope like we're just gonna go with what society says and what society deems as correct we've kind of lost our individuality like after you graduate high school it's like a given like people are asking you where are you going to college i've never had one person ask me are you going to school or not they've asked me what school are you going to like that's what I got asked when I graduated, no one even gave me an option of if you're not going to school. And of course that's an option. Everybody is different and everybody is going to be happy doing different things. So do what makes you happy. If going to school is not going to make you happy or if you don't know right now, then it's okay to take a gap year. It's okay to take time off after being in school for 12 years plus of your life. Like think about it. You've never had a break from school because we've been going since we're in kindergarten to grade 12. That's your whole life pretty much. You've never you've never remembered anything else. So if you need time to take a break, then take a break. It's totally okay and we got to normalize that. Taking a break or not going to school at all doesn't mean you're less smart than anybody who is going to school. It just means that you're meant for different things at the moment or you're meant for different things in your life path. Yeah, I can't stress that enough. Oh, I'm curious. Why? They didn't have coca combo. Oh no, what did you get? Salami. Let's go Toyota Rap 4, pick up the pace! Go so <laughs> Toyota Rap.